Hey there, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, we got some more uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus, 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 whatever you want. Um, I'm going to start this out this video by addressing the giant elephant in the room, and that is when the patch, when the latest patch came out, the 1.1 patch, the uh, MMOs, sorry, the, the outbreaks no longer persist between you zoning back to town and and back to the map and so as of 1.1 passive pathing is dead so you know f to pay respects for for uh, passive pathing it's not it's no longer a thing you could still do normal outbreaks if you just get there you could scan it and see oh okay there's there's a shiny here i can do that you could also do aggressive pathing with aggressive mons but you can't do any more advances now so that's dead but it's not all bad news because we have mmos now and you can get things like this lovely shiny unknown which didn't happen in Outbreaks. So you can get something like this, or like this big guy, or most importantly, something like these two. Yes, uh, all, all four of these Pokemon that I have here were all caught through MMOs, and it's all something that you can do now because I have written a script. Um, and let me show it off here. So. First off, this script, uh, it's, it's located on my uh, PYNX Reader fork, which is available in my Discord. Uh, just download it and uh, run the script check MMO. Um, and you just I'll do have it right here. Um, and you want to run this script from the village. Don't run it from the field. Uh, the way it works is it reads memory values, and as a result, if it goes and it, it, it reads memory values and then calculates at the Pokemon but if you go to a map that the initial four will spawn for every po for every MMO and as a result you'll be off so it'll say like oh you advance to uh, respawn two will be shiny but it, it won't be because because it's it's off so just keep that in mind run it from the village the good news about this though is that it will scan every single species of every single MMO available so if you have four MMOs on on the maps it will scan every single species and let me show you uh, how how it works here so we're gonna go ahead and run it um, enter your shiny rolls keep in mind uh, shiny rolls are a little bit different here instead of base 25 like normal outbreaks it's base 12 so then I have 17 because I have level 10 research and everything that's another two rolls and then plus three for having shiny charm so 17 for me but yours might be might vary and this is just for everything I didn't put in anything to make it variable depending on the species that's very complicated uh, maybe I'll get to it eventually though Anyways, 17, and now aggressive pathfind. I'm gonna say no, just show you the default behavior here. So it's scanning the map and it found uh, it found a, um, an MMO. And here you go, right here, we actually have a shiny that's available right now. Um, and you can see that it's a, that right here was, we have the species, I have the encounter tables populated, so the species will be right. If it's an alpha, it'll say so. Um, I Right here I have the Pokemon species group because that way you'll know, okay, this is a swine up thing. So if you see pile of swine, you go, oh, okay, that's that's not normal. That's that's something a little bit rare. Uh, alpha, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, shiny, true, because we, by default, this filters by shiny. And then here's where it'll be. It'll be in the initial spawn. Great, we have the EC bid and all the other stuff. Great. So yeah, we can see that. But this isn't really RNG manipulation. This is just checking. What we do have, too, is you have an option for aggressive pathfind because aggressive pathfinding works on MOO Pokemon just like any other outbreak. So if you go ahead and just say yes to it this time, it'll take a little bit longer to scan everything, but then you'll eventually get something, probably. There we go. Yeah, all right, great. So yeah, this is just like a normal aggressive path here. So you see path one, four, means that you would do a 1v1 first, and then you do a 4v1 and then it'll give you a shiny Yanma with with these stats. But then that's 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 not bad. That's some that's some good thing. Uh, also, this the script will detect if it, if there is a bonus round. So like for instance here, bonus round, and it will scan the bonus round as well. Now, you go okay. Well, that's something. What if I told you this isn't actually the whole script? Let's clear this out. The real script is this one. Now. 
if uh, if I ran the uh, normal, the non-aggressive Pathfind, everything would be exactly the same, because there isn't any change there. However, because you can... Because of how respawn mechanics work, if you KO multiple Pokemon in the first round of an outbreak, that will affect the seed that you start with in the bonus round, which means that there are multiple paths that you can take in order to get even more options for a bonus round. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes here, and it's going to take a lot longer, unfortunately. But you can see here that there are 94 total paths to take for this Spiritome um, outbreak, and it all depends on how how you kill things. So this gives you a lot of options here, and it's, it's it, it takes a long time. It has to scan 94 different seeds and generate things, and yeah, it, it but but here we go. We got we got some really sweet results here, and we're gonna we're gonna check this one out because I've been hunting. This is my holy grail. I've been hunting it for a long time, and then of course there's other things too. Like a cricketot is not great because it's not aggressive. I'm gonna try to get species behaviors into loaded into this so it won't display things like this. Um, but here's here's something. Here's the what I'm calling bonus round pathing. Some people call it super aggressive pathing, but essentially you path the first round, so then you can then path the second round to get a shiny or whatever you're looking for. So here's how this works. So it says here, first round path. So you see you go 2v1, 3v1, and then a uh, 4v1, and that will clear out all the respawns. At that point, there will be no more respawns. When you have cleared out all the respawns, you no longer have to worry about advancing the seed. Um, and then I have this plus, and then in this case I have one because there's only going to be one Pokemon left after you're done with all that. Um, here you can see you do 2v2, 2v1, then a 4v1, and then there'd be four respawns left. And you can take care of those respawns in any method possible any method because at this point it won't advance anymore you can you could four if you won them if you want you can catch them all one v one whatever we're gonna go ahead and do this path right here so i'm gonna go ahead and save because i do not want to lose the seed and we're gonna say goodbye to all of our alphas so they'll join us later in the field and we're gonna go ahead and hop over to the crimson mire and go ahead and catch us Let me put up the path in the upper left here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, and put this in here. Let's see, so we got two, three, four. So that's our first path. And then our second path is just, and yeah, our second path is just one. And you can see that's because, yeah, you, you do your first round path, and then this might be different too. Uh, there's a lot less respawns for the second round, so th keep that in mind. But yeah, so this one is just path one, so we just catch or kill 1v1 and then we should get it. Alright, so let's go ahead and find our Spiritome. And I'm going to go ahead and hide this now. Be Oop, not the path. I'm going to go ahead and hide this so that we have access to all of our screen. And now we just have to find our Spiritome. Um, and yeah, okay. It's really easy to see because because it will um any bonus round will have that sparkly thing if you go and talk to Munchlax. So we know exactly where they are. We know where we know what our path is. So we're gonna go ahead and head over there. So we need to do a two, three, four. This is gonna be a little bit annoying. But we can do this. Alright, this should be two. Okay, there's three, but that's okay. With aggressive pathing, you can do um, you can do more than needed. Just run away after after I kill the first two. I'm gonna run away. All right, that's one down. Now we just have to kill one more. Nasty. Let's kill that one. We'll give it a strong style. 
that should finish it off. Nope, didn't. Oh well. That's gonna hurt. I don't have any fairy type Pokemon. Even though I've been hunting this for a long time. <laughs> Very smart of me. So things do get a little bit hairy sometimes when you get to an all alpha bonus round and you have to uh, you have to kill multiple of them. Yeah, have fun with that. Ah, goodness. Whiskash is so slow. All right. Zorark is fast. Let's go with that. All right. So all we'd have to do is kill this one. Great. Okay, now we can. Now we have to run for battle. We do not want to kill this one, or else we'll be off the path. So, run. Okay, good. So that's two. So now we need to kill three, which, thankfully, there are... Oop. There are three Pokemon here, so we should be... Ah, goodness. Should get into a battle of three. No, we ended up with four. That's going to be fun, then. All right, that's okay. Again, we just kill four. We just kill three of them. I mean, easier said than done, but we're gonna do it. At least they can't shadow ball Zorark. And so yeah, I chose to show off the the bonus round pathing because I think that is the 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 best feature of this script. Um, and yeah, so I gotta give special thanks to Zyro and special thanks to of course Lincoln um, because he he provided the base code um, which I used to develop pretty much everything. Um, so and then special thanks to Zyro for giving me tips and stuff. Uh, and he also has a he also has a bot that I would highly suggest looking at. It is really good. Um, there we go. Great bird. But yeah, it's uh, it, it's been a long process. That's why I haven't posted any videos because I've been pretty much working on this for like the last week or so ever since I upgraded my version. Um, but yeah, if you if you if you want to do passive pathing, unfortunately what you have to do is you have to stay on version uh, um, 1.2. That you, there's no other option for you in that case. If if you upgrade to 1.1, that's it. You you lose passive pathing on outbreaks, and it's it's unfortunate. I know a bunch of people that have decided to stay on their uh, other version, but they um they're, they're more than welcome to. Let's go ahead and take out this last one. Oh, that's not going to be good. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the problem is that these guys are just really, really tough. And, uh, nope, nope, why did I send out? Oh wait, no, hidden power changes. So it'll actually change to be, well, if this thing lives, which it won't, it's only level 27, never mind. Well, I didn't bring enough, uh, I didn't bring enough good Pokemon. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is, uh, this is awkward. Oh goodness, I only have one of those too. Okay, well luckily after we kill this we can just go back to camp and we'll fix this up real fast. Yeah, there we go. We should be fine to just kill this last one. Because if we if we didn't, then I'd have to restart this whole thing because then we would have fought, exited battle having only killed two. So just keep that in mind, people. But we recovered. Now we can run. 
All right, so we did two, three, and let's uh, let's get let's get away. All right, so back to town. We're gonna do just a just a little while. Uh, you don't want to go too long, or else you'll lose your MMO. And let's go ahead and get our Braviary back, because he has a very tight move. Alright, alright, now we should be fine. So now the big one is we have to do uh, 4v1, which you just saw can be pretty dicey. But that's okay, we got this. Luckily, this time we have Dazzling Gleam, so this will one-shot these guys. Um, I mean, uh, Braviary also can get killed pretty fast, but he's fast, so okay. Good. Two down. We can finish off the rest with what we have. Oh, good. We get two. Two turns in a row. Perfect. Easy. Look how much easier it is when you actually bring the right kind of Pokemon to a battle. Okay, rip Braviary. Had this thing for so long now. Alright, let's send out Typhlosion. So yeah, uh, I got I got pretty much all of these guys through aggressive path oh bonus round pathing. Um just because that's the easiest way to get them. Because you get something like a bonus round where um, everything is guaranteed to be an alpha. And, and so, yeah, that definitely makes up for things a little bit here. Alright, there we go. So now there should only be one respawn left. Yep, just one. And for that guy, we're just going to sticky glob him and run. And so this will... Now we'll get our bonus round. So we should be on the right... Oh, nope, never mind. Fine. We'll do it again. So this now we should be on the right path. So now our ne our second round, all we have to do is kill or catch one of these giant alphas. Whew. Oof, this is gonna be a, a rough one. Let's see, do I have a uh, revive? Yeah, I do. You get to watch me flail about in real time. This is great. Let's revive our Breviary and heal it up because we're going to need to probably kill one of these things. Alright. Let's get away from them. Let's hopefully kill them. Catch it. Yep, we did. Okay. And you can hear the... Yep, you see it. There it is. Let's uh, let's uh, get out of here. Get a, get out of battle. <laughs> but you can see there, right away, we got the shiny alpha, right where we thought it was going to be. Right after we, oh gosh, Oof. Oh. come on, game. Gosh, this is a scary sight. Just look at that. All right, well, maybe healed up a bit. All right, let's go in. Get our safety gloves ready. Did we get it? Did we get it? We got it! Run! Run! <laughs> so yes! <laughs> yes! Whew, we did it! Anyways, that was that was a Pokemon I've been looking personally for for a long time. But that's all there is to the script. And um uh, let's go ahead and look at its summary real fast. I didn't I didn't get into a battle with it, but I I can pretty much tell you that everything is right. All right, so uh, let's bring up our script here so we can compare the stats. Um, we're going to have to do a little bit of conversion, but we see 31, 31, 31, 31, 2, 4. Uh, 2 and 4 will give you 0. 
effort values to start with. 31 will give you three. So you can see that HP, special attack, attack and defense are all three. So that looks right. Um, it is a naive nature and it is of course a shiny alpha. Um, so yes, that's, there we go. We, we did it. We got, we got what we looked for. And, uh, boy, is he, uh, is he great? This, 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 well, yeah, she, she's great. She's great. So yeah, that's, that's all there is to, to, to the pathing. Path Just make sure that you run the script from town. Don't run it from the field, run it from town. And then just make sure you follow your path. And uh, I, like I said, I've been updating this quite a bit. And um, as of yesterday, I found out that I was actually wrong about how some pathing works. So I actually added in significantly more. So, so yeah, there's a way more options available to you. So you can get your shiny spirit tome. You can get whatever you want that comes in an MMO. Uh, just keep in mind that some Pokemon won't be aggressive. And so you won't be able to do aggressive pathing on them. But still, you can likely still find what you're looking for uh that's all i've got for now uh, please join my discord if you want more updates more information because the people on my discord have actually had this script for, for since i first finished it um but yeah i i will uh keep you updated with more things as as they develop i know gen 9 is coming this year so i'm excited about that and i will see you all next time good luck out there with your hunts